Um, I'm here with Dr. Stolarski from uh, Sarasota Memorial Doctors Hospital. He's uh, an avid Aqu Aquamanus user uh, for the past five years. I uh, just wanted to uh, talk with you and see about um, what it is that, that the Aquamanus has done for your practice. I actually think it's been more than five years, but what's it done is re reduce my transfusion rates, reduce my blood loss. So you know there's two parts of my practice, right? You have the young active people that expect you know, bloodless surgery and they want to get back to work quickly. You have less blood, you have less swelling, you have less uh, pain, and they do, and less transfusions. Aquamanus has allowed uh, me to do that. I do a direct anterior for my primary hips, and it's not atypical for me to have 50 to 100 cc's of blood loss for a total hip, and I use it in all my revisions. All, all knee and hip revisions, and again, my transfusion rate is well below what would be expected. Um, as far as the revisions, uh, what exactly, how does that help you out on that? Because that's a common uh, thing that I... Yeah, we do... Our revisions, as any revision surgeon knows, goes from extremely simple to extremely complex. So if you have a simple revision and you're just, as you do your dissection, you want to pre, I'd like to pre-treat areas that I know are going to bleed, um, capsule, uh, known vessels. And then as we go along, I'll have my PA, I'm doing my dissection, he's behind me getting hemostasis immediately. So we're not, you know, I use cell saver when I need it, but very rarely do I have to transfuse the cell saver even. Um, the other thing is there's a lot more soft tissue dissection with the revision. So we'll do a total femur. It's a, we, got a lot of uh, soft tissue exposure and again it cuts down on significant blood loss. Specifically with the uh, direct interior, that, that is your approach now? Oh yeah, Pro, uh, all 100% of primary is direct anterior. We've done a couple thousand of them. Okay, and what has the Aquamanus um, helped you with in regards right, to that? If you look at the Aquamanus, there's, uh, I teach this so I get a lot of questions on how do I control blood loss. So some people call me to have a liter of blood loss and they want to know why and what they can do about it. You have three places you're going to bleed uh, in a primary direct anterior hip. Your circumflex vessels, your obturator type vessels that are down in the pulvinar, and then the one that runs with the piriformis. Well, the, the, the first two are easy to get to uh, early on. The one that runs with the piriformis, if you pre-treat that region before you take it off, if you take it off, even just the posterior capsule, if you pre-treat it, you get it before it retracts. What happens is if it retracts, it falls behind the acetabulum and then you get welling. You still get to it. But people can't, they either can't find it or they don't know to look for it. Um, so if you pre-treat those three areas, you're, you're not going to have significant problems. Commonly, when uh, speaking with surgeons that have used the Aquamanus a couple yeah. times, um, I know in previous discussions with you, you've said that they, they really need to use it a lot of times. So that initial learning curve. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, the Aquamanus has come a long way. I, I used your first generation, which was, uh, it was challenging but effective. You've improved it so much that it's very user-friendly. But so you need you need a dozen cases with it, and you'll see uh, a linear drop, not an exponential, but you'll see a linear drop in your blood loss. So I would say, it, like any new thing, you have to give it you have to give it a try. For, I would say ten cases would be reasonable. Okay. Let me let me ask one more question. You've used the word pre-treat. I think that we this guy. You've used the word pre-treat a couple of times, yeah. and obviously that's that's part of Mike and I's vocabulary. But what do you mean by that? What's Aquaman? All right. So I'm doing my anterior dissection. I go between the sartorius and tensor fascia on it. I'm down on the capsule. There's going to be a layer of fat. I just take my finger, dissect that little layer of fat. There's always three vessels there. Mm -hmm. Just hit them with the Aquamanus. They change color. They become uh, I don't know. We use, use the word desiccated. I don't know what the right word is, but they're they're not viable any longer, then you just dissect them through it a bovie, no blood loss. And again, more importantly, when you, you know you're going to take this t soft tissue off the posterior neck on the femur, just hit it. It's, it takes two seconds. It. And, and take your time. Mm -hmm. The time you save by doing this ahead of time is uh, a lot more than the time you're going to be yeah. looking for the vessel. Okay. And so you're actually, you're, you're sealing stuff or treating stuff rather yeah. before it starts bleeding. Both. Oh, okay. And then I'm real active and you know, put the bobe down, grab the Aquamanus. And uh, I like the, the way you have the Aquamanus set up now. Okay. And uh, I think the numbers speak for themselves. 50 is probably, 50, 50 cc's of blood loss is not unreasonable. I never have over 200 cc's of blood loss, and that's pretty much all BMIs. And that's for the direct anterior, not, not revisions. Thank you, Dr. Stolarski. Well, thank you. Thanks, Mike.